you even begin to diagnose a, con a mm -hmm. concussion? Right. So talk to us about that. What right. would you What would you look for? Right. Well, first of all, you need to uh, if you're at the game, um, you need to see what is the mechanism of injury. Um, so was there a head injury? Did you see it? Were there witnesses? Um, did they lose consciousness? Were they confused? Were they dazed? Were they hit in the head? So the historical aspect is number one. And then number two, what are the symptoms uh, or the signs? Uh, did they have a headache? Were they confused? Um, were they, did they get dinged? Um, were they vomiting? I mean, so you need to look at the historical aspect. Was there an injury? Are there signs and mm -hmm. symptoms of a concussion? Sometimes you may not be able to tell. Uh, if you're a physician or a healthcare personnel um, at a game, you may not know. It may be a mild concussion. So what do you do? You take them to off the sideline to a quiet place and you do your sideline assessment for concussion, and which will pick up um, evidence for a concussion and they do not return to play. So sometimes it's not that clear. If you're, uh, if you're like you and I and we walk into an ER, if you did a CAT scan or MRI, mm -hmm. Can you see a concussion or can you see a, a brain injury through one of those um, means? No. 99% uh, of the time, uh, there are no imaging studies that really? are helpful in diagnosis. It's a clinical diagnosis. It is not a radiological diagnosis. So the CAT scans and MRIs will be normal. So you really have to focus on symptoms and behavior. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. And how do you even begin to evaluate that? Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, it's very different when you're on the field with a player, but let's say Someone like myself, if I mm -hmm. came in and I complained, mm -hmm. how would you, mm -hmm. how would you d diagnose? Right. Well, I would say, um, so tell me what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, you were hit in the head. Did you lose consciousness? Um, did you have a headache? Were you dizzy? So I would ask you the same symptoms. I would want to know uh, maybe a witness account or a report of what happened. Uh, did you or did you not lose consciousness? Um, although most concussions, uh, c consciousness is not lost. But, you know, that's an important um, uh, piece of information. So it's the same thing essentially as a sideline. You're evaluating uh, what happened and signs and symptoms.